Well, seeing cancer cells in a new light, prostate cancer typically doesn't cause any noticeable symptoms in the earliest stages, but it can become aggressive and potentially spread to other parts of the body if undetected. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new tool that could help doctors find the cancer earlier and manage it more effectively. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in men after skin cancer. In fact, over 288,000 new cases of prostate cancer are diagnosed each year, but it's also one of the most curable cancers if it's detected early. Well, now a new imaging tool is transforming the way doctors look for it. Tracking down and lighting up cancer cells. Each advance we do has the potential to be a game changer. So PSMA imaging um, is also a game changer. Emory radiologist David Schuster says if a man lives long enough, he will probably live with prostate cancer. I believe 80% of 80 year olds have prostate cancer of some form. The big question is, which are the types that can be ignored and which are the types that need action? A key to survival is finding it early. Now, Pasluma is the first FDA approved radio hybrid drug for PET imaging of prostate cancers. Where a small amount of a radio tracer is injected into the body and it goes to specific Areas. The tracer is combined with a prostate-specific membrane antigen that hones in on the prostate cancer cells. This unique combination delivers a high-resolution image that illuminates cancer cells. Even the smallest and most elusive ones can usually be detected. In a clinical trial with over 700 patients, Pasluma PET imaging found, on average, 83% of recurrent prostate cancers, even at low PSA levels. By finding the lesions early, Pasluma can help with early interventions and personalized treatment plans. It's great to have as many tools as possible. You may say having more arrows in our quiver will help us defeat the enemy of cancer. Now, not only can this new imaging detect cancer cells, it can also help to monitor the progression of the cancer and assess treatment responses, which is key to better managing individual patients. Back to you. Well, PSA tests are still the first step in early detection of prostate cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends that test starting at age 50 for men of average risk or age 45 for men at high risk, including African Americans and those with the family history of prostate cancer. Now, men with a very strong family history may need to start PSA tests even sooner.